number five. All right, so the graph, uh, the graph of a continuous function f consists of three line segments as shown above. What is the average value? Ooh, that's a, that's a ticket right there. What is the average value of f on the interval from negative two to eight? Okay, so whenever you guys think of average value, I want you guys to think mean. All right, in order to do this, um, what we're going to do is we're going to find the sum of all the values. That's why we're going to do the integral. The integral finds the sum of all the values uh, from negative 2 to 8. And then we're going to divide that by the interval from negative 2 to 8. Whenever you guys find the mean, you add all the numbers up and then divide by the number of numbers. In calculus, we're going to use the integral to add up all the numbers since there are an infinite numbers between negative 2 and 8. And then we're going to divide by the interval that those uh, values uh, can be found. And so we go 8 minus 2. We normally do the bigger number minus the, the smaller number. Actually, you always need to do that, okay? Okay. And then, uh, actually, the more popular way to write it is by putting the fraction out in front, multiplying to the sum of values. So we have the fraction out in front, multiplying times the sum of values. Now, sum of values also means area under the curve, okay? So, and that really is helpful here because um, we don't have, uh, I'm, I'm sure we can figure it out, but we don't have functions for each of these line segments. But since they're all line segments, we can easily use geometry to find the area of these two triangles. So here's our two triangles. We have um, one that has a base of six, height of five, another one that has a base of four, height of four, and so we plug, um, we just find the area of each of those, one half times base times height, and then we add the other one, one half times base times height, and a little bit of uh, arithmetic juju there, we get 15 plus 8, 15 plus 8 is 23, and then we get 23 over 10, I look at the answers, there's no fractions over there, so I just divide 23 by 10, which just essentially moves the decimal over to the left one decimal place, and we find our answer.